Hey UTA, welcome to the Shorthorn After Dark, and here are your top stories for April 22, 2010. In the next few years, UTA's boundaries will be expanding, and students might have to walk a great deal more to get to these venues. To ease their burnt out feet, students might want to try and ride the UTA shuttle service. The Shorthorn rode along to see what it's all about. I'm the Shorthorn online content producer, the Noah Srinivasan, and uh, I don't know how many of you have actually ridden, ridden the Mad Mover, but uh, I did for the first time, and I'm about to hop back on and show you a quick little preview of what it's like riding the Mad Mover. And uh, so far, we're here at the Maverick Stadium, and goes all around campus. And uh, we're going to talk to a couple students, see what they think about it, and. Uh, Maybe in the end you'll realize that maybe you should use it too. It's free. It's from uh, 7 in the morning to about 6.20 in the evening. They also go to Walmart in the, e in the weekends. Um, so let's check it out. The service operates Monday through Friday and currently runs along two routes, the stadium and the south route. The stadium route, as the name says, covers most of West Campus, including Greek Row, Matter One Apartments, the Swift Center, as well as stops on campus near the UC and Arlington Hall. The south route helps students get to 3rd and 4th Streets as well as East Mitchell Street. This route, however, only operates from 8 to 5 p.m. One of the major perks of the shuttle is its weekend service to Walmart. Students can get a free ride to pick up some groceries to feed their deprived college stomachs. However, one student wishes the rides were more frequent. Because we don't have any other uh, means of transportation to get us out of the university, go to the Walmart or any other such places. I think if they increase the frequency for that, it would be great. The shuttles pick up at approximately every 15 minutes and a full schedule is available online at the UTA website. Be on the lookout, folks, as four burglaries were reported on campus Wednesday night. Police reported to Lot 33 next to the Mavericks Activity Center on four separate occasions between the hours of 6 and 10 p.m. According to the police crime log, a purse and three stereo systems were among the things missing from the vehicles. Another two burglaries were reported in parked vehicles at Centennial Court. The cases are under investigation. If you've eagerly been waiting to hear back from your professor about an exam but haven't gotten anything, well, it may not be your fault. The Office of Information Technology says they've experienced issues with UTA-generated messages, resulting in many professors' emails sent directly to the junk mailbox. OIT says they have been working with Microsoft to fix a technical issue since last Friday. Students who would like to complain about receiving emails in their junk mail folder after Friday can contact the UTA Help Desk. Just a couple of other things going on around campus this weekend. The baseball team takes on Central Arkansas for a three-game set. The Mavs standout starter Jason Mitchell takes the mound for Game 1 on Friday with first pitch at 6.30 p.m. We're working on these stories and more. Be sure to pick up a copy of the Shorthorn on Racks Across Campus Friday or log on to theshorthorn.com for extras. I'm Alana Quillen and thanks for watching the Shorthorn After Dark.